Hey guys and welcome to a new video from Hackinoids. In this video, we will see how to remove items while iterating through a list in Python. As you know, list is a great and efficient data structure present in Python. It is used in machine learning, data science and almost any paradigm of programming in Python. So it is necessary to know how to iterate and remove items from a list. So let me solve a simple example. In this example, I've created a list called as marks and it says data of marks of certain students. So we will create a condition that if a marks of any students is greater than 50, then the marks remain in the list. Else we will have to remove them from the list. So let's try to do this by creating a simple helper function. So what I'll do is, first thing is I'll create a function called as check and inside the check function, I will put in the arguments called as mark. So basically every mark will be passed through this check function and then certain output will be given and based on that output, which will be true or false, we will decide to pop the item or let it remain in the list. What I'll do is I'll check if mark is greater than 50. If it is greater than 50, then we'll simply return true. Else we will return false. So it's a simple return function that will simply check if a number is greater than 50 or not. Okay. So we have done with our helper function. And now we will see how to do this using iteration method. So what I'll say is for item in marks, now what we'll do is if check, I'll call the for helper function that I created check and then the check takes an argument of mark and as you can see the item right now is a mark. So I'll say if check item is true, basically it's returning an output of true because its marks are greater than 50, then we will simply pass because we do not want to remove that item from the list. We only want to remove the items whose marks are 50 or less than 50. So I've created an if condition and I'll simply create an else condition. And what I'll say is marks, that is the name of the list. And then I'll call a function called as dot remove and the remove will take an argument who needs to be removed out from the list. So I'll simply specify item in the argument and that's it. We have completed our simple function that will check whether a mark is and that's it. We have finished iterating over the list. And now let's print the list and check the output that works. And likewise, as you can see, the numbers 60, 70, 99 and 64 only remain in the list and the numbers 20, 30, etc. get popped out because their data value is less than or equal to 50. Likewise, we can also make use or the famous method that is list comprehension. So list comprehension will be more of creating a copy of the data list that we already have. So what I'll do is I'll create a variable called as updated underscore marks. So basically this list will store the data that is updated and then I'll open my list method. And now I'll create a set of iteration methods using the comprehension style. So what I'll say is X for x in marks if check that is the check function that we created at the start of the video check of x is true so let me explain you what i have written so what i am saying is x for x in marks which means we are going to iterate for every item inside the marks and while we are iterating the variable will be named as x and then we are creating a condition saying that if x is true which means if x is true, then the data will be appended into this variable called as updated marks else, which means false, it will not be appended. So I'll just print updated marks and let's run the program. And likewise, we get the same output as we expected that is 60, 70, 99 and 64. That is the marks that are greater than 50. So that's it from this really quick and simple video. We will help you all understand how to iterate for items present in a list and remove subsequent 
items based on the conditions we create. If you like such videos, do drop a like and comment which video would you like to see in the next video.